hit start. There it goes. Now it's starting. Hey, everybody. What's going on? <laughs> How do you like our, our gear? <laughs> Mary looks like she's wearing her big brother's stuff. And that's not my robe. That's her robe. It's my robe. It's my hat. I'm dragging it on the floor. Twin hats. <clears throat> Can we get a sound check, please? Michael! Stacy, hey everybody. Kirk. I was having a bad hair day today anyway. So. It was just easier to put the hat on to hide yeah. that mess. It was a mess. <laughs> Chris, what's happening? Okay, so sound is good. So we're going to walk outside. We're at my house. We're going to walk outside to show you how close uh, the swim spot is. Which, which is helps pretty, in which, the winter. It does help in the winter. Actually, you can see that steam coming off of there. Go ahead, Mark. Look at <laughs> I don't know what that looks like. Silliness. Silliness. It's definitely silly. All right. There you go. Get in there, girl. Oh. All right. So this is the chili part. This is the this is the only chili part is hopping in. So we do robes. And if you if you oh, want one of these nice. It's 101. It's like a hot tub. You know we're not fooling around with the temperature here. So we're going to keep the hats on. We're not swimming um, because you really can't, you know, watch us swim for like 15 minutes. There's no real. Mary's outfit looked very cozy. It, it, yeah, the robe like reached her ankles. <laughs> In fact, it may have been past. It may have like you may not even have seen her feet. Well, barely see her slippers while she was walking. So... And, and uh, I have to drive home, and I don't want to have wet hair driving home. No, today. I don't blame you. So. I don't blame you. It's not that cold out today. So yesterday, no, no. we're in Connecticut. Yesterday, it was... Um, it never got more than 13. 13. It was cold. And then today's like 30, 40. My, is it, I know almost, it's... It was almost 40. At one point. What's it yeah. now? It's, it's cooling down now. The yeah. sun's starting to go down. So we'll probably hear Master. I saw the slippers. Yep. So everything she's got, has got fur on it. You know that to keep her warm because she's I always cold. the cold. So, anyway, I'm going to get into, pass this here, Mayor. Don't drop it. All right. Last time you were here, you, you broke my... I know. So don't break my phone. I don't typically like hats, but I will definitely wear one today. You don't even need it in there. No, no. It was just fun because we had them. Right, yeah. Chris, heading out for a swim after this. Nice. Ah. So, today we are talking about... Um, you talk. I'm going to chill out. Okay. Uh, so today we're talking about winter swimming tips. And we're going to hold out before we talk to you about this fun uh, competition or contest. Or contest, contest. Thank you. That we're going to do. Um, so one of the things that does help in the winter is to have your swim spas close to your home as possible. So that one, you don't have to go very far to get in. Two, when it snows, there's not a big path that you have to shovel to it. And just like any other kind of outdoor winter sports, you want to make sure that at least getting to the swim spa, that you've, you're dressing warmly. Uh, just, just like, you know, you have to get cold weather gear for running or cycling. Get some nice cozy robes and towels some nice furry slippers or whatever to get you out to the swim spa yeah once you're in it's, it's a piece of cake. oh yeah once you're in it's is it born in, uh, your no life. me still um it's one you know once you get in getting out depending on the temperature or what you're doing in there right if you were in my experience you want here to i'll flip okay. it to you there you go Good. so in my experience when the water's like Let's say you were going to swim at 92, 90, 88 in the wintertime. You'd be fine while you were swimming. When you got out, you'd probably be a little chilly for a second there until you threw, like, we do big robes. Throw that big robe on, and that fixes things. And I don't have a heater out here for the wreck -a towel heater or any of that, or I haven't done the, the cooler with the, you know, the hot towel in there. I haven't done any of that stuff. I just don't, honestly, just don't think it's really necessary. Um, we're longtime hot tubbers. We're used to this. Uh, right now, this is 101. So there is no, I mean, 
if you stay in here for 20, 30 minutes, you're going to get out and just, yeah. oh, this is awesome. So it, it really works well like that. But what we wanted to talk about today was swimming, actually swimming in the winter, winter in your cold climates, whether you had a dual temp or whether you had a single temperature. So, and there's lots of different, lots of different people, people do it in different ways. And that's what we're going to talk about today. How, how you guys do it, how we do it. Uh, Mary swims inside. So you've never swam here in the cold. No, uh, yeah, I haven't. Swam here. So she swims inside. So obviously that's a different take on it. Whereas we tend to keep it on the hotter. So I would personally rather swim with just, you know, a pair of shorts on with nothing. But I've got, you know, um, one person in particular, she's a maniac too. She swims, this woman, I won't give names. She swims in a Michael Phelps signature with XP, not XP Pro, but XP turned she, all the way up for an I think hour. she has the momentum. Oh, is it momentum? Yeah, momentum. Yeah, momentum. So it's momentum, that's right. So for an hour straight, she wears a wetsuit. You know, she keeps the water, she's racing. So she needs to keep that water temperature. If you're that aggressive, then you need to adapt for that. So she wears a thinner wetsuit, I think sleeveless, but her water is probably, you know, 85, 87, something like that. But she's working like a dog. Yeah. So that's yeah. a different thing. So it, a little of it is subjective on how hard you're working. Right. This um, Chris Hoops, first, I, I'm not sure if that's how you say your name, so I apologize if I said it wrong. He's got a 19 deep, so he's saying he keeps the he's swim a area. A challenger, yeah. Yep. He keeps it at 88 in the swimming and 102 on the hot tub, but he has a towel warmer. How do you like that towel warmer? Just curious about that. Um, and then again, just, just to say it one more time, this right now is at 101. We're yep. sitting in 101. I like 101 in the wintertime. 102 is too hot for me. Uh, hey, Chris, actually... He loves it. He said he loves the so towel even, warmer. Even after, so you swim at 88, you jump into the hot tub side... 102, that's hot, so you're going to be plenty warm, and then you get out, do you feel that you need the towel warmer, or it's a nice to have, or a must have? <laughs> so I, I trust him. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's funny, we have such an awesome group of people. So in, in the, the Master Spas owners group, on our lives, we've got people whose input, and they're not in the industry, but their input is awesome. Chris Absolutely, is yeah, Chris yeah. Chris's input, he's a bright guy, he's doing things smart. Using so, his swim spa. So I really want to know what he thinks about that. After hopping out of 102, is it something that you must have or is it a nice to have? I'll wait, I'll wait for him to yeah. answer. And you could also get, you know, I know you, you mentioned a heater, but now they have those really neat heaters like that you might see at like an outdoor restaurant or something that you could even get for outside no. where your swim spa is. And they're not crazy expensive. No. He's... He said it's nice to have when it's 32 degrees outside, okay. either way. So, the other thing that we're seeing in that group are mats so that the, the walkway to the swim spot oh, are heated. Oh, neat. That's nice. Awesome. Yeah. That turns me on. So, like, I was out here working out here doing something the other day, and it just made me think, like, how could I do radiant heat all around the swim spa? Ooh would be freaking yeah. awesome where this so you didn't even have to shovel the snow just melted that would be epic because then you just clear it off the top onto the floor and then let it melt yeah that would be really something thomas bully says he puts a towel in a big ziploc bag and he throws it in the water with him i never thought about that does it warm it up enough it's got i would yeah i yeah, would think it must up. that's a neat idea so it must float Right. I doubt you're vacuum sealing it. It floats. Right. Gets warm enough. Keeps it warm. Did you ever have a leak ever once? <laughs> Tom, be honest. <laughs> Did it ever leak even once? Although they do make pretty good. Yeah, they do make good ones now. You got to get like a nice big one. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we love to see the videos of people out there swimming and, and just out there in the wintertime. And you can do yeah. this. He and says it keeps it the same temp as the water. The water That's right. awesome. Yeah. Right. That's pretty cool. I never thought of that. Me Talk neither. About a simple solution. Yeah, yeah. Great and idea, Tom. Thank in a, you. And in a swim spot, it's not like you don't have plenty of space. Right. You know, in a hot tub, you may not want that bobbing around in there. When yeah. You're in a, a seven foot hot tub, but maybe you would. I don't know. Yeah. So, you know, what we want to talk about today is the swim temperature. You got to be a little careful when it comes to swimming too hot. So, if you're swimming super aggressively, the thing you're feeling for is your cheeks. If your cheeks are flushed and you're feeling a woozy. It's too hot for your activity level, so you need to take it down 
temperature wise or activity level and I don't want to suggest anyone take activity level down so I'm going to suggest you bring your temperature down to be safe I'd rather have you cold than dangerous okay so although we are not in the business of cold water we are in the business of hot water All right. yes so that's really the sign um, and it sort of ties into a question that we had the other other day uh, Mike Leahy tagged me on a post in the owners group um, I, I don't recall the name um, this woman signed up for a sprint triathlon and wanted to know how fast she should be swimming and that's a very subjective question because <clears> everybody <throat> swims different. You've yeah. got fast swimmers, you've got slow swimmers, everywhere in between. Um, so really, if you're going to be swimming in the wintertime, what I want you to pay attention to is how you feel afterwards. If you're woozy, if your cheeks are just bright red and you don't feel super afterwards, you need to take that temperature down a little bit. And, and you know, luckily, we have the, the, uh, the luxury of one degree increments. So you can really dial it in. Everybody's different. So it's not like some, you know, 88 degrees is perfect. It's not perfect. It's not perfect for everyone. It's all based on effort level, if that makes any sense. So more importantly than anything else, you need to be safe. You need to choose a temperature. I'd rather have you on the chilly side the first time than overheat, okay? So you don't, definitely don't want to overheat and swim in water that's too hot. Um, I like hot water. I like hot races, mm -hmm. hot Iron Man. I don't care. But I know that, you know, I'll feel it. If I feel something bad happening, I'll stop. Yeah. So you just got to pay attention to that. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I agree. Definitely. I also like to be warm. And I, you know, I've kind you, of, really? if, yeah. You? You know, there's also some things like if you are training and you want to keep it warmer, there are some things that you can do to, to lower the intensity of your swim. Use some of the toys, you know, and then so that you're not exerting as much effort if you really wanted to swim when the water was warmer. Is that facing me or you? It's facing you still. Um, but hold on a second. Heather, you did not miss the photo contest yet. We haven't talked about it yet. We spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? And um, so, so, yes, but uh, one, of, one thing, if you want to answer, I'll answer. Someone asked Thank about... You. Ask it. Here, oh. Turn it around. Okay, so, oh gosh, now I, uh. Oh, I need a towel up here so we can dry off. Yeah. One half. Chris, you asked Is about the swim on speeds. It's on me. You asked about the swim speeds of the different lines. So, in the trainer, the H2X trainer series, the top speed that you would be able to swim is about a 1 minute 50 second per 100 meters. And then in the H2X Challenger, which we are in here, the Challenger 15 and 19 and 18 regular, <laughs> it is a 120 per 100 meters. Then we also have the H2X Challenger Pro, which swims about 110, maybe a little bit faster, per 100 meters, and then the Michael Phelps series swims about a 55 second per 100 meters. So that Michael Phelps is a beast, and it's really made for swimming aggressively and, and competitively training in, in it. So hope that uh, that should have answered your question. Um, Debbie, thank you. We love that you love your 15. She recommends it to everyone. Great. Let's <laughs> do. All right, so there were a couple questions. Um, I have them on my phone, and I'll quickly read them. And, and ben can... All right. You get your questions. I don't think you look weird with a hat on. Eh. <laughs> we, hey, Susan, can we get a smaller hat for Mary's pointy little head? <laughs> Yes, Chris, for sure. Definitely want to keep drinking water. That's huge. Yes, yeah. And if you're feeling like you're overheating or like feeling that woozy feeling, some some electrolytes are good for that too. Okay. I'm zooming in on your hat. Oh, thank you. Relax. It's master. You can't turn your head away. Oh. Okay, so this is from Stephen in Texas, and he is asking, in the winter months, I have an H2X swim spa, uh, H2X Trainer 19 deep. 
In the winter months, I find myself primarily using the hot tub to relax after work, and I rarely use the swim side. I do follow your suggestions for spa care, bed method, scoop of chlorine after use, and I occasionally test it. But what should I be doing for the swim spa side that gets very little use right now? You can answer? Wait, where's he from? Texas. And he's a cold climate question. Um, he's just saying that he doesn't use the swim side as much now that it's cooler. So how should okay. he take Okay, Texas, care of it? cold. <laughs> That's not a thing, all right? <laughs> um, <t> <laughs> I don't know. Well, last year they had some bad... Yeah, they did. Yeah, I, I take that back. Because if yeah. I say that, it'll happen right. again. And we don't want that to happen again. Okay, so what do you think, Mayor? Answer, you answer. Yeah, I would say... Um, this girl knows more about... She, you've forgotten more about swim spots than most of the dudes in our circles know. I would, I would say that you do want to make sure that your swim area is still getting treated. You might not need to do it every time that you're getting out, but at least once a week. Yep. Um, I would say put in like a good two tablespoons or... Uh, probably more than that. Maybe, okay. Yeah. Go on the head. Go on the head. I mean, it's chlorine's cheap. Yeah, once Keep the water week, perfect. Because it it's yeah. annoying if it gets cloudy. You know, um, who was it down here? I'm going to swing this around. Tim. I'm just gonna to this seat okay, go ahead. So Tim commented on my water. It's easy to keep the water nice when it's already nice. It's when it gets cloudy is when you're chasing it, and it just becomes a pain in the butt, even if you know what you're doing. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm exceptionally impatient. <laughs> That that <laughs> confirms that uh, is as much as it needs to be confirmed. So when the water gets cloudy, you know, you start with A, all right, alkalinity, pH, and then chlorine. It's just not fast enough for me. So it's much easier to just keep the water perfect, you know what I mean? And and without tooting the, the Ben method, which is it's a whole thing now, um, <laughs> You know, just put in a little bit more frequently. You'll never have to chase it. This is so effortless when you do that. I mean, I don't, you, no test strips. No. The only time I use the test strips is when the water is Not cloudy. Clear. And that's typically like if it just gets away from us and we travel, it happens to us. We're, we're good at fixing it, but, you know, it happens when we go away. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So we saw the, uh, the warehouse water. We opened it up after being away for three, four days. Um, was a little bit of cloudiness on the bottom, which is how it starts. So we tagged it. You know, we just crushed it with chlorine right there. And it, I didn't even look at it today. I'm sure it's fine. So I yeah. know I put enough in there. But I, I stuck a test strip in there to see uh, where the alkalinity and pH to make sure they were in range. They were. So we just hit it with chlorine and you just have to wait. Yeah. But it's annoying to wait. And uh, I know that everyone who is sitting here watching this who has had cloudy water and fixed it was like, oh, that was agonizing because you're not sure if it's going to fix. Right. You know, you're never sure, but it will. So you turn your filtration way up, you know, alkalinity, pH, chlorine, done. You don't, don't do the chlorine until the alkalinity and pH because they just, it won't take. It'll just burn up. It won't do anything. That's why you fix those others first. Okay? So. Next question is from Stacy in Minnesota. If we have our swim spa delivered during the winter... Can it sit without electric hooked up and without water in it? We live in Minnesota with freezing temperatures. I'll turn this around on you. Okay. Go ahead. So one thing that you would need to do is you would need to find out from your dealer if that swim spa is winterized or hot tub, whatever, whichever it is for, for anyone who's getting a winter delivery. Because if it's not winterized, then you really don't want to leave it too long without filling it because you, it could have the potential of freezing. Um, so if you're in Minnesota, just double check that it's winterized. If not, you might want to have it winterized professionally before it's delivered. Right on. Uh, if, it's, if it's only going to be a couple of days, that's fine. But again, you don't want it to sit too long in the, in the really, especially there in the really cold weather without having it have that antifreeze in there. You know, last year when we hooked up Anthony's, um, we weren't sure if there was a little slug of ice in there and it was not winterized, but it was, I think it was January. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. February. No, February. It was February. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. So it was February and, um, I can't recall what's reminding me of when it was, but I, 
So anyway, uh, February, and then Ron had said that often in, when they're when they're shipped out, there's a little bit of water in there, and that if that freezes, it tends to not be a problem. If a li- if a little slug of ice is in there, which which is I mean it probably happens more often than we even realize. Right, yeah. Um, so it's when they're full and they freeze that it's just an absolute disaster. But if there's just a little bit of water in there, it's not really going to expand and do too much damage. I'm sure that it has, but it's, it's, it's probably not the end of the world either. So I, I wouldn't worry about it too much, but you definitely want to know if you're going to leave it. Minnesota's freaking cold. Um, make sure you find it. Like Mary said, just find out if it's winterized. But I'm sure there have been some that were winterized that had a little slug of ice in there. You know what I mean? It's, it's, an, it's an assistance. It's not a guarantee. Okay. So let's see. I've got some questions here. And we have one more here. Uh, Scott and Vicky, uh, we have been in the 20s and 30s in Dallas. What? You should move. That's terrible. Uh, Tom, negative 14. Uh, that is cold. We don't typically Ugh. get that kind of cold up here. Uh, it, Although I did. It was we really don't. This, I guess yesterday. With, with wind chill. Windchill. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't know if Tom is talking about wind chill or, or straight. It could be, yeah. you know, up there, it could be straight negative 14 yeah. without wind chill. So we don't see that. Mike Wright is making a joke about me being impatient. <laughs> he would know. Yeah, he would know. We've been at this party a long time. One more question from, this is from Rick in Connecticut. He's waiting on delivery. Do you ever need to vacuum the bottom of a swim spa? Yes. I'll let you answer that. Yes. So, okay. I wonder if, oh, you know what? I wonder if you can see it. So what happens, see that little speck of junk down there? I don't know what it is. Maybe dirt, maybe leaves. I don't know. That's what has to be, because we don't, we're not tracking, we're the snow kids uh, tracking junk in here. So that's not a problem. But uh, that little spot towards the swim end, and it's the same spot in the warehouse too. Yeah. So same spot. So I have, um, do you remember what kind it was? I got it on Amazon. It's a little battery powered rechargeable vacuum. The hand pump one for a swim spot doesn't, doesn't really work well. Uh, the battery powered, I've had great luck with keep it plugged in and I'm sure I could run in there and grab it. And how many times would you say that you used it though? You know what? In le in when the leaves are falling a lot, when the helicopters and the little, uh, the little worms off the trees fall, we use it quite a bit. So that was that was when we used it the most. Uh, it just drives me nuts to have that stuff floating in here. That was that was a pain in the butt. But during the winter, you're not really using it at all. There's nothing going in there in the winter time. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Zendra. I'm originally from Michigan, and after 35 years in Texas, it definitely gets cold. Can't take the cold like I used to. I bet that blood thinned. Yeah. I bet that blood thinned right out. What else do we have in here? Ben method works just fine for Chris. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, Chris, also, I hope you've put aside some Master Spas hats for the UK dealers when we visit the factory in April. I bet Susan could take care of that. Who, who's and that did you Rachel? guys? No, that oh. was that was Chris Brady. Oh, uh, did you guys spot the sweet robes we had on? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what, this girl has got the most Master Spas gear out of anyone I've ever known. Her luggage says Master Spas on it. It does not. <laughs> She somehow got to me to, to put master spas on her bags. <laughs> Kevin Lee Wright. Hi, you too. Hello, sir. Hi. Florida. Oh, Lisa, it's 76 in Naples. You poor oh. thing. <laughs> She's like, look at these. You idi- might have she- some house guests soon. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey, come look at these idiots outside in the cold. It's so much better down here. Uh. Upstate New York. Must be nice. Must be nice here in the swim spa or someplace warm. We, I'm not sure. There was someone earlier from Belgium I meant to say. Oh, awesome. Yeah. 76 in Naples. Okay, Pam, I'm not sure if you're talking to us. Oh, the rechargeable vacuum. What? It's an, it's an I. The name of... Intex? Intech. 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 It's an Intech. It was like 60 bucks. It's cheap. Uh, I'll take the robes and luggage merch, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we got? Uh, let's see. I'm in Virginia, 44 degrees. I will degrees. tell Chris that when Rachel Hang came, on. she seemed to snag quite a bit of gear while she's she got. Here. So Chris, she's got tons of gear. She's just not sharing it. You tell her we said that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Sue, I don't have anything with Master Spa's logo on it yet. All Key, right. Keyword is yet. Maybe this is a good time. Lisa said, you know, you're always welcome. 
32 for Chris yesterday, 50 today. 50 is nice. Yeah. In text, Chris, thank you. All right, awesome. Okay, is that all the questions? Yes. All right. Yeah. So, we are actually... You gonna talk about it? Starting. Is it time? We can start, yep. Officially? Lisa, are you sure we can officially said, finally I start? Email wait, right here. wait. <laughs> We can, we can officially start talking about this now? My God, it's taken like months. Okay. <laughs> so, for the contest. What contest? I'm yeah, she, Lisa answered. She goes, yep. <laughs> <laughs> right, a lot, a lot so of, a lot of, uh. You are going to share pictures of hot tubs and swim spas, as many as you'd like, the more the merrier. They can be from any season. We uh, Kayla is going to put the link because it's going to be masterspas.com backslash FB contest. contest. FB contest. Kayla, be Kayla typed it and put it in the feed faster right. than you read it she out of the email. <laughs> Kayla, are you listening to this? Okay. Uh, so it should be up and running. And that way... If you put them all on that site that Kayla just posted, we'll be able to keep track of who submitted specifically for the contest. But, but Mary, what happens? What happens with all these pictures? What okay. is? What's the purpose? So the contest, I'm not. I have not been informed of exactly how we're choosing. Yeah, who's the, the Yeah, who are the judges? We don't know that. And yet. can the judges be bribed? But the winner will get a visit from Ben and Mary. For a Facebook Live on location at their house. <laughs> there will also be, I'm reading this verbatim here, there will also be swag bag gifts for runners up. Okay. Which always is always fun. The judges cannot be bribed. <laughs> Lisa's very clear. The okay. contest runs through the end of March, but you should enter early and often, according to Lisa. So early and often. So, you, Until March. so to be clear, you can enter more than once. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kayla said that she is known for her typing speed, <laughs> and uh, Joanne Wright, sixty-eight degrees, Ormond Beach. Thank you very much. And she says that you two are funny. <laughs> and uh, let's see. There are going to be some fun runner-up prizes. No, no secrets to be revealed, but fun runner-up. I can't. I can't say it. Prizes. I, don't know. I won't say it. We're gonna. Uh, I. You know what? I have nothing to add. Okay. Um. So if you'd like to hint at that for people. You know what? The truth is, is that Mary is very tight-lipped. I'm a blabbermouth. He is such a blabbermouth. I am. I have no. I have no problem with it. Ugh. You know, it's funny. I had a secret, not top secret, secret security clearance when I was in the Marines, and still, I'm a blabbermouth. I don't know. I guess I can be trusted with the real important stuff, but not like fun stuff. Ben is a sharer. Like, yeah, I'm a sharer. I am. I'm a yeah. sharer. Too much. Well, nah, maybe. I don't know. Sort of transparent. I guess it depends on who you Okay, the judges cannot be bribed. Uh, Heather, interesting question. What if we don't own a spa yet? Can we still enter? It didn't say you couldn't. Yeah, if you, I guess if you're going to have your... I don't know. You, you're going to have to be real creative. I can just say that, Heather, yes, okay? Yes, but I would think if you're going to have your spa within the next six months or so, then yes, I would say. I would Why think. I, hey, you know what? They didn't say no. No. So it's not in the rules. So Heather, I'm going to go with yes, you can. So I make no promises on that, but especially if I, you're I would like suggest in some very warm, beautiful climate. Oh, Lisa, <laughs> I don't know if that Lisa that was that didn't seem fair to me. It seemed like Mary was was I'm tilting. <laughs> oh, we're going to end up in Canada at Tom's house in negative fourteen degrees. Right, Tom, we're coming up negative fourteen. <laughs> All right, put the get a, get two extra Ziploc bags. We're coming. <laughs> Uh, they let's say see. commented, and I liked it, that they could be used as booster seats in the bag. Oh, I just know if I sit on there, it's going to leak water. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Grass is filling in, Chris, so new photos soon. Sun sails coming. Yeah, Chris, sun sails make for great oh, photos. That's nice, yeah, yeah. We are in Illinois, love our master spa, also have the battery vacuum. It works great and don't have to use very often. That's right. Okay, so Master says officially, unfortunately, no. In order to enter the contest, you um, need to submit pictures of your Master Spa's hot tub or swim spa. All, all right. right. I'm sorry, Heather. Sean Quinn, hi, gang. Hello. Running until April 15th. You need to, oh, okay. you need to include, yeah, by Master Spa's. I'm in Wisconsin. Tom, oh, we know where you are. 
Uh, let's see, what do we got here? If you don't have it yet, enter a pick of one of those little blue kitty pools. <laughs> I think I have some critters living in my Twilight Tub Shell. What can we do about this? Well, Jimmy, it depends what kind of critters they are. Um, I'm not, I, I, I had critters out here. I can't tell you what I did with them, but they're gone. They're living where? Uh, let's see, in the, in the cabinet of his Twilight oh. Tub. So it depends what kind of critters. I would go with a trap situation. But, and or if it are we talking mice? What are we talking about, well, Jimmy? I was gonna Expand. Say, if you see where they're entering, yeah, you can fill that with fill that with bronze wool or cover it with on. chicken wire. Say it again. So if you see the spot where they're entering, one I probably put a trap out, but if you can tell where they're going in, uh, we've recommended to put bronze wool, like to fill that spot with mice. bronze wool. It's mice. Yeah, so fill that spot with bronze wool or cover the bottom where you think they might be entering with chicken wire. Hmm. And they, or both. And they, the critters, rodents don't like bronze wool, so they won't, they won't try to get in. Okay. Steel wool. He used steel wool. Set some traps in there. Set poison in there. Set it all in there. Set it on fire. Got to get rid that. of them. Don't do that. That was bad advice, Jimmy. All right, what else do we got? I think we got all the questions. What time is it? How are we doing for time? 4.30. 4.30, perfect. So any contest questions, what I gave you, and obviously I gave you wrong information about not having anything in your yard. We she, will, just, she just says what she wants to say. If you post questions on here, following, if we don't get to them right now, following today, someone will come on and answer your questions. Yes. If it's contest related, Master Spaz will answer if we don't know the answer and any other questions we do come back on after and we the answer. For sure. Okay, so now out of all the people we've got on there, oh, you can see the new tattoo. Oh yeah. That's the first, first that's been on there. New tattoo, my pup. We just lost him, very sad. So if you guys have questions about the contest, about the swimming specifically, put them in here. We'll be on there. Send a message. If you send a message, you know, to the Master Spas Facebook page, please make sure like big caps up top for Ben or for Mary because it's hundreds a day. So we yeah. just, we're just, we, we don't look through them. We can't, you know, usually someone points them out. Might take a day or two, but we'll, we'll they'll eventually find their way to us. So the, the main takeaway, I want to make sure I have Mary's head in there. The main takeaway is that you need to be very careful with the temperature. I tend to swim in very warm water. I don't care. I've been doing this a long time. I know what the signs are. As soon as I start feeling woozy, I'll take my, my uh, you know, exertion rate down a little bit. So pay attention to that stuff. That's what you really want to pay attention to. If you're getting red faced and flushed and you don't feel super, done. Take the temperature down or take your effort level down or pause for a few minutes. Drink some water. Stay hydrated. Like Chris said, the hydration, I, it's funny. I didn't even think to add that but it, it, because I, it's yeah. a given. But it is something that we need to be aware of. When you're in water, you're still sweating. You need to drink that Probably water more like than that. You yeah, think right. You are, Especially yeah. when, I mean, this water is 101. We are definitely sweating in here. Like I feel when I stand up out of here, it actually, the cool air feels good. So that's the whole, you know, point for, for this temperature for me is I like to relax in here and, and we're in here often. So, but the main thing is guys, just please be careful with the temperature. Make sure that you're paying attention. If you need to take the effort level down or take the temperature down, that's how you dial in your sweet spot. Ooh, excuse me. There's no magic temperature for all effort levels. Okay, so it's a matter of paying attention. Um, you have tricks like a wetsuit. Um, they have thin, what do I call them? Skins. Skins. Skins that will work fine. Or you can turn the water temperature up a little bit, go in with, you know, with nothing or, you know, a pair of shorts. So just be careful. We want you to be careful and really get that enjoyment. And, you know, if you ever wondered what the attraction was for a dual temp, it's this. It's that right, yeah. right there. That's the attraction for the dual temp. And, you know, and, and another thing is that a lot of people have done dual temps. Well, a lot of people have done separate units also. So just because, you know, two or three years ago you did a trainer 15 or you did a challenger or whatever, that doesn't mean you can't add a little hot tub. It's the same thing. A trainer 19 is essentially 
two hot tubs, a swim spa and a hot tub, you know, stuck together. I mean, they're, they're obviously molded in one big piece, but they are two separate components. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't know if we ever, ever have ever said it like that. Mm. So a trainer 19, a challenger 19 momentum, they have their own pumps in the hot tub. They don't share anything with the swim side. All right. So it's totally separate. So from an amperage perspective, if you were to say, I bought a challenger 15 last year and I want a hot tub too. I wish I had this dual temp. If I could do it again, I would get the dual temp. Add a 7.2 or a 240 off to the side of it. Yeah. It's the same amperage. You need 50 and 50. So you have that ability and keep one pool temperature. Jump ship when it's when you're done. Get in there and warm up. That's what the, that's what our dual temp people are doing. So they're swimming at a, at a cooler temperature. Not so concerned about being warm. Because as soon as they're done, they hop, they're hopping in that nice warm water. Okay? So that is one more trick you can do. So you can either do a dual temp or you can get two separate units. Sometimes people need a larger hot tub. Then is on the dual right. temp. So if you had six people that are going in that hot tub, well, six people aren't fitting a Trainer 19 hot tub. You know what I mean? It's made for uh, three, four, four tops, really. So get a separate unit. Lots of ways you can do it. All right. But don't think that you missed the boat if you have a single temp because you didn't. You can always add that. And if you think that a Trainer 19 is the same price as a, a, a Trainer 15, it's not. It's much more priced like a Trainer 15 and a separate hot tub. Okay. So I guess that's it. We got any more questions on there? Mary, do you have anything? Nope. Do, do, do. <clears throat> we will be back in two weeks. I'm just, go ahead and you talk. Which is going questions. to be Wednesday, January 26th. Normal, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we will see everyone then. Again, if you have any questions regarding swimming in a swim spa or any other questions about swim spas, hot tubs, uh, you can ask them here. If you have any questions about the photo contest, you can also ask them here. We'll make sure we get the right answers for you. And use the link that Kayla posted to submit your install photos of hot tubs and swim spas. That's right. Uh, we got a couple. Sean wants to know where someone can get one of those cool master spa sats. You just have to put in a uh, re requisition form to supply sergeant. Her name's Susan. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I already put my picture up. Awesome. What else do we have? What else do we have? All my swim spot knowledge came from watching Ben and Mary live videos. Oof. Chris. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. And the swim cap. Actually, Chris brought up the... You know what, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to chime. We're, we're going to have, have, have to third party you in on this. I didn't even mention the swim cap. I always swim with the swim cap. Even, you know... Nice and warm outside. I just like to swim. I prefer to swim with a swim cap. Yeah. I feel better. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's in my head. Maybe it's not. I feel like I swim better with a swim cap. Always have since day one. So a swim cap's huge too. But Absolutely. that'll help to keep the heat in. Yeah, right. Yeah. Actually, my head is actually sweating yeah. in this hat. It's warm. Which I, I've never worn this hat in the hot tub or swim spot before. No? Never. Oh, I thought you had. That's why you chose it. No. Hmm. No. I just, it said master spas. I thought it'd be fun. It is a very And, and you knew hat. everyone was going to be like, I want one of those hats. I said it before we even came on. I've got like a drawer. It's got like 60 or 80 of them in there. Just They always send me this stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. We, just, we, we put it down to goodwill because we need space for our other clothes. Stop it. I couldn't fit my underwear in the drawer anymore. <laughs> awesome. Okay, guys. All right. Two, two weeks. weeks. What's the date? January 26th. January 26th. Start getting those photos ready. You have till April 15th, so don't think you need to do it now. We did have a question come up of, you know, was it going to be green? The pictures would look better if it was lush in summertime. Right, so you, we're not too worried about that. We know what we're looking at. And even if you post one now, you can post one later. Absolutely. When the weather's so warmer. So send them, send them, send them. It's the install that we're looking for um, and just the whole thing. So although Mary seems to think the nicer, warmer location <laughs> it is is going to be better. <laughs> Uh, Use, uh, that's just me personally Lisa that was her Dreaming. I didn't say that okay I didn't say that at all Lisa that was her okay guys we'll see you in 2 26th yes. January be good and if you have any comments comment on there we'll be back on tonight alright later everybody bye